welcome to another day in Minecraft! That's right, I am Ragu and you join me and Captain Squawks here in the background for day 13 in our Minecraft Survival series. How exciting is that? Are you excited Mr. Squawks? I think he might be. He's doing a little jig that is fan fantastic. It's a beautiful day outside here in Minecraft and we've got some... Wait, who? Wait a minute, right. Excuse me for one second. Let me just pause the intro here as something I need to take care of right now. And uh, I have to go out every morning and take out the trash. Get out of here. Go on, get it. You're not welcome. You're not welcome. Ugh. Every day, every day, there's a freaking fox in these fences. I can't believe it. Anyway, um, that brings us nicely to today's episode. It is about these guys right here, our cows. We are building a cow farm today. That's right, a semi-automatic cow farm because we need leather for our enchants and our bookshelves and things like that. So we built a dripstone uh, farm last time, as you can see over here, looking fan freaking tastic. And behind that, we've started collecting our little lake of lava so we can eventually make our nether portal as you can see right here don't get too close don't fall in uh, and today we're going to be making our, our cow farm stick with us we're gonna make a cow farm and hopefully you'll learn a thing or two if you do like this build make sure you hit the like button and of course subscribe to the channel okay you want to start off with a 4x4 base you can make this out of anything I chose stone brick because I had an abundance of it from the house build from previous episodes then you want to pop a chest down at the front here. The next step is optional. You may want to pause and watch a wolf eat a wandering trader's llama. That is up to you. He doesn't seem to mind. Next, you want to pop two hoppers down behind the chest. Make sure they're facing the right way. Build up the corners here with just any old blocks and then pop down two buttons, which will stop the lava flow. You'll see that later on. Then place two steps upside down and two slabs above it so you can have access to your cows. Next you want to pop a dropper down and two more stone bricks and then some buttons. Next you want to go around in a circle or what is a circle in Minecraft in glass and then fill in some water in one corner. Pop down some iron fences here and then surround that by slabs and then on top of that you want to put some glass. In the one corner here, bottom left hand side, you want to pop another dropper. Then on top of that, some more stone bricks or whatever your material is. And then a button on top. Fill the dropper with a water bucket and then go back down to your bottom dropper and fill that with a lava bucket. Now you want to make it just look nice. You can fill in the corners with your chosen extra block. And then uh, fill in all the gaps as you can see right here. And that is pretty much it. You also want to add some way of getting to the top because you're going to have to manually feed your cows with wheat. Then it's just a case of getting your cows in the top of your cow farm. Easier said than done. I chose leads, but you're probably actually better off leading them up with wheat because they're a bit more controllable, to be honest, because they love that wheat. Uh, then it's just a case of breeding them up until you have uh, at least about eight in the top because that works best. Um, and then um, let's just wait until some have grown up. Okay, we've got a few adult cows now, so it's just time to burn them. So flick the switch here, the lava will come out of your dropper. It will only touch the adult cows. As you can see there, there is some little baby cows still at the bottom. They will grow up to be adults. Then you can burn them, and then everything goes into the bottom chest. Cooked meat, leather, and all. And that is it. That is the cow farm made. Uh, it is a quick and brief tutorial. Hopefully you followed. Uh, just watch the video again multiple times to get the review count up and also watch time. Uh, so that is it. Like I say, cow farm made. We can now uh, get leather and cooked meat whenever we want. It's just a case of feeding these guys up the top. As you can see, they love it. Bouncing around very happily. Their babies will drop through to the bottom. And then when they grow up, you can just release the lava and um, burn all the adult cows. Mm. Let me know what you think of this build. Have you made your own cow farm? And if so, is it better than mine? Probably. I will link all the ingredients in the description below. Normally you would use an observer to make this uh, a little bit better, but I don't have a observer yet because I haven't been to the nether. So when we do go to the nether, I will upgrade this cow farm and I'll show you how to do that, of course. If you did like this build, please do like the video and make sure you're also subscribed to the channel because that would be fan freaking tastic of you. Okay, thanks very much for joining me for today's episode. It may be short and sweet and I hope it wasn't too confusing. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, bye.